we finished most of the coop, as you guys seen in the last video. Today I'm going to be working on those nesting boxes. And Roxanne and I are trying to come up with where we're we going to put these posts. And it's not a rake, but it's a broom. Yeah, I figured you do this, but you're going to make it a mess when you do the... I am. I'm going to have to cut over here yeah. on the bottom do these nesting boxes. This door is pretty sturdy that we built. Quite honestly, this thing's nice. Yeah, we latched it in yesterday. Or... It's pretty good. Bye. <laughs> Put these hinges on. We still have to lock them. All right, guys, it's not locked yet. I have some eye hooks, and I think we're going to get some latches, some, some latches too. Right yeah, we'll put like a latch on top and on the bottom just to fully secure the door. And then during the day, the chicken door will be open with their little ramp and all kinds of stuff. There's plenty of space in here. Yeah, you can pretty much stand up in that whole thing. Well, if I probably come over here, I could probably... She's very... I mean, I'm a head... Barely tilted. Yeah, head's a little crooked. It's but... a pretty big coop, I think. Yeah, no, this is... This should be easy for cleanup. Oh yeah, for cleaning, yeah. yeah. I mean, look guys. <laughs> a lot of it though is just going to be raking stuff out. A little of the straw and the different things we put in there and cleaning all the chicken poop out and everything. Yeah, yeah. Shouldn't be too bad. No, well there's enough space and then the door is pretty big. That's why we did it this way, so this door can open up all the way, right guys? You can fully get in there. There was like four kids in here yesterday. All the kids were in here playing, thinking it was a clubhouse. Yeah. They're like, I want one of these, blah, blah, blah. I was like, ah, oh, this is a chicken coop. Yeah, this is for the chickens. This is a chicken house. <laughs> but I'm going to get started on that nesting box so I can get that at least mounted today. Because I do want to go around and start putting some of these posts in, or at least figuring where out um, they're going to go. Figuring out where they're going to go. And we're already burning daylight, so let's get it. Another thing I forgot to tell you guys is that we dug a big hole right here. This is around the center of where the coop's going to be. Let me back up and show you. It's going to be right around there because we're going to be putting this big giant pole or post inside of it. And that's going to go all the way up. I'm going to have to cut this tree down, which kind of stinks, but for the netting because this pole is going to be like the center post for the bird netting to come down around the whole fence line. Kind of my own design on these nesting boxes. Hard to know if everything's straight, babe. It's hard to know if it's straight. You know? Straight enough, I guess. So, this is the base of the coop, or not the coop, the uh, nesting boxes. 
So Roxanne's over there. She's gonna be cutting me some more boards. Um, I got enough for one, two, three, four, five nesting boxes. Okay. This is gonna be bolted to the back of the coop. Basically, I'm making a square or rectangle cube. I'm gonna separate them so they each have individual nesting boxes. And then the lid that's gonna go on the top of this box is gonna be at an angle. So you can just go to the back and lift it up and see into the nesting boxes all around the back. But I need to make a frame first. And I was gonna cut these two by fours in half so they're like little square boards, but it's just like way more work and there's real no reason to do that except for like the weight. But this thing's gonna be nailed and screwed down into the coop the whole time anyway, so it'll be nice and sturdy for them. I thought I messed up real quick. And good thing I got Roxanne over here because she came over and let me know that I didn't mess up. And she explained how to do it. Because <laughs> I was all, wait a minute. That's the front wall. That's gonna be outside. So the, the birds are gonna come in like this, right? So obviously this needs to be lower than this. For the roof to be sloped and i was all man i didn't realize for the the length of the those boards sticking up right here i said i didn't account for the three and a half inches of the two by four again it's like the third time and then i started thinking about it I said no we can just do it a different way with roxanne's help so thank you baby <laughs> you saved me pulling the nailer out <laughs> look i already had it ready guys Starting to get hot, babe. Huh? It's starting to get hot. Yeah. All right, so Roxanne and I have been thinking about how we're gonna do the dividers inside the nesting boxes. And we came up with a really cool idea, I think. Yeah, I think so. What are we gonna do? Uh, we're gonna groove it out. We're gonna groove it out. Yeah. I have a router, a hand router. Little hand router and I already tested it on one you guys see that it's grooved out so what we're gonna do is groove right here out and then this piece 
was already going to be on top anyway. And it's going to be flat. And then that way, we can use some of this siding, for example. And we'll be able to just slide it in just like that. You guys can see there's lots and lots of shadows today. But we'll just be able to slide it in on the top and the bottom just like that. And it'll hold it in place like this. Right, to be like that. Separate the nesting boxes. And that way, if we ever need to do like a deep clean and everything, we can pull those out and clean the whole nesting box at one time. And not have to do it individually and stuff getting in the cracks and we'd really be able to clean it, which I think is a really good idea. Yeah. Guys, see those grooves that it made? And all these boards are here. That's gonna be so nice just to slide a piece in. Good thinking, babe. Mm, that was all you. <laughs> you you helped me think of it, and I'm saying good thinking. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be nice. All right guys, so I cut these. This is what we're gonna use for the slats. As you see, I did the router on the top and bottom just to create a little groove. And check this out, guys. Check it out. Hold on, did I do it the right way? Yeah. I'm trying to see which way, that way. Boom, nesting boxes, mm. and you can pull them out and clean them nice. if you need to. Yeah. I thought that was a really cool idea. Yeah, no, it looks it looks very, very nice, baby. Good job. Yeah. yeah. So it's pretty much almost done. Almost, you just mm. got a couple things. I gotta use some of this small block like this. I'm put in, in here. Inside there, right? So that when the lid's on it, it's completely enclosed. Yeah. Like that. And then just gotta do that and the floors and the siding and that's it. And then get it on the coop. It's nothing fancy for the basic door. But we're gonna paint it and make it look nice. Whoops. 
Yeah, there's like nine million <laughs> little screws. of these screws, these watertight screws they use on metal. I use them on there, but when you paint it, I don't even think you'll see it. Nah, it doesn't matter. Blend right in. Yeah, it'll be fine. So that's how it's gonna be, guys, basically. Like that. So you put a hint, two hinges. Mm -hmm. You'll come out, have a handle. And then you'll be all lifted up like this. Grab the eggs. You'll close it again. Yep, it's gonna be pretty good. I think it's gonna be good. Yeah. And then we still gotta do siding, I guess. to the right of you, that side is where this thing's gonna go. And me to the left, it's gonna be like, let's see, let's do that. My, it needs to go way more. Like that. About like that? Yeah. About like that? Yeah. Let me, let me get a, a screw in. No, come over there. I know, hold on. I'm not holding it. Because we got to level it out too. Are you good? You can come over just a hair. Pull it. Is that right there? Yeah. About like that. Yeah. Now I can't get these up. Oh, because we gotta pull them out the other way. Yes. <laughs> you know what? And I just realized Sorry, you're not gonna be able to get them back in either. Even if you cut the uh, holes out, you're gonna cut in here in between. So we take these out first then? No, because you're not gonna be able to put them back in unless you did it from this side. Well, maybe I'll, I'll redo that then. No big deal. But you get what I'm saying? I get what you're saying. Because there's gonna be a little stuff of the siding in between. This thing has got a lot more torque than the impact. It sounds weird, but it does. I'm telling you. All right. It's pretty solid, man. It is. Let's see. Oh. Let me step back over here. Check it out, guys. A nesting box. Yep. Yeah, it looks really, really nice and. I'll have to give Anthony credit. It was mostly his idea for the design and everything of it. So it turned out great. He did all the measurements and everything. So it lined up perfect with the studs. Yes, we still need to cut out the holes, which we will do. Yeah, I'm gonna go do that right now. Yeah. But, uh, and then do the siding, the floor. Yep, gotta paint it, yep. put the roof on. I know we should probably should have done the floor and stuff right before we put it on, but I was like itching to make sure that everything fit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, and plus, I want to see what it looks like too, right? And if I had to restart everything, I was going to. Yeah. But that's okay. I'll just lay down and zip, zip, zip. Yeah, it won't be, be too hard. Yeah. Looks good, baby. Came out good. It did. Good job. It looks very nice. And see, look, guys. You can walk right to it. You have all this space to get the eggs. Walk right back out. Hey. Oh, that's 
pretty good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. It's not gonna be perfect, perfect. But... No. I already knew that. Yeah. No. It's nice. Yeah. So what up? Hey. How you doing? <laughs> There they are. Well, the holes are cut out and stuff, so it looks so good. I'm sure uh, the chickens will be happy and hopefully lay us some healthy, happy eggs. Well guys, when we were done working on that uh, nesting box, we're like, okay, time to go pick up Wyatt. We'll start working the next day. As you can see, we got jackets on. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can tell. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we did have to cover it up because the past two days, it's been just raining, 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 raining. Oh yeah, it dumped on us. Yeah, like big time. Yeah. So we didn't get to finish working on this box like we wanted to. It's still not covered or sealed in with the siding. No, the, the, well, I was going to say the most you've done is you put the hinges on and put the roof on. Yeah, I did put the hinges on, as you guys can see, and like the roof. Um, we still got more work <laughs> to do. But I put this piece of tin on because I wanted to save the wood from the rain because we are going to cover this like, like this with a tin but see how these are going this way I gotta cut them so they're going like this yeah. just like the roof so when the water does come down and hits it it'll just fall off but it'll leak off this leak off that onto this onto the ground yeah so that was kind of a shame a bummer that we didn't get to finish work on this and it's already hailed a little bit today it's supposed to be thundering again yeah it's kind of nasty <laughs> over there the wind's kind of blowing a little bit yeah it's like super cloudy as you guys can see and i don't like working in the rain rain no i just, I I just don't, don't. i will if i need to but i don't think we need to right now tomorrow's supposed to be a little bit better yeah nicer tomorrow plus for the past two days what was going on i don't know if you guys can tell yeah well one i got my glasses on but <laughs> i uh my eye got messed up for those of you that don't know i wear contacts and uh, this one, I don't know if it's happened before and I've been wearing for like a month, no problems. And then yesterday, no, not yesterday, the other day, a couple days ago, it was bothering my eye. And yesterday I couldn't even open my eye. No. Like I loafed on the couch and I had like a, like my eye patch. It was just a paper towel. I was gonna, towel. I was gonna say she looked like a pirate. Yeah, it was a paper towel that I like stuffed in my glasses and like hold it just to keep my eyeball closed. So today I can actually open it and like see out of it, but it's still super red. Your eyes like really red. Yeah, still. well, it's still kind of bothering me. Like I can't. I don't know. It's like whenever the light hits it, it like dilates my eyes and it just oh it kills me. But right now. I'm yeah, I mean, of, I'm weathering through it. For some of you that might have known, like when we first got here last year on like a month or two later it was pollen season yeah you know pollen was out and everything all of a sudden roxanne woke up and she couldn't open her eye it was bad oh yeah and it was like three days of her sitting in the trailer in the dark yeah just because she couldn't open her eyes my head down just you know miserable and so that happened again and i was like ugh. and i don't so i've come to the conclusion i do not think it's allergies um i'm not sure what it is i've i got a couple theories in my head of what it could be but i don't think it's allergies no <laughs> well there's no pollen right now no and, and it I, happened again yeah so. and when i my eye did finally start to hurt um i had worn them all day my contacts all day no yeah. problems all of them until i getting ready to go to bed and then yep. it started messing up yeah so 
So we had to take the past two days off because of the rain and Roxanne's eye. Yeah. And then we were hoping to be able to get some work done today, but it, like I said, it's supposed to thunder and rain again. Yeah. But I will say this, guys. The, the coop, if I can get it open. <laughs> Settled. <on>. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta trim some of this wood off a little bit. Yeah, so. But we already knew that. Yeah, well, cause of the rain. The coop is perfectly dry. Not one drop of water mm -hmm. got in here. Nope. Which Sorry. is exactly what we wanted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when the, it was funny cause when we seen it was gonna rain, we're like, oh, well, I guess we'll find out for sure if our coop leaks or not. Yeah, we'll see if we did an okay job on the, the roof. waterproofing yeah. and, and I'm, I'm happy with it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, even right here, guys, there there was no water. Yep, so it's not leaking in through the door or anything, so. <sighs> so, like I said, hopefully tomorrow or later on today, if, you know, we'll see. We're going to keep an eyeball on the weather. Get out here and see all those nesting boxes up, and then we'll be ready to start working on the fencing yes i'm ready i'm ready to finish this and get the fencing going yep because we have more plans that we have to start next week yeah we have we have more projects coming yeah we, we have to start the new plans next week and then when that's done we got to get back on the house i know and we're already a week behind because of the weather because last week was that last week or was it the week before week before the ice yeah with the ice storm that came through that put us behind and then what's going on today and yesterday that put us behind it's like no winning guys no winning out there get used to the new weather changes i guess <laughs> we'll have to yeah so <laughs> so i just want to keep you guys updated on that but we are going to be working hard once we can and get this stuff done because i'm ready i'm ready too so but on that note guys we will catch you guys all on the next one bye bye